Hello, my name's Joe and I'm going to show you how to create a simple uh, light toggle when the player overlaps a box. If you find this helpful, please like, subscribe and hit that bell for more videos and don't forget to check out my website 3dassetlibrary.com for Unreal and Unity Engine assets. So what we're going to do here is I've got the default um, third person template here in Unreal and when you hit play it's just nothing special here. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to set up a little box here that when the player um, or little area here, when a, when the player walks over it, it's going to turn the light on, and then when it walks outside of the box, it's going to turn the light off. So what we'll do is, I'll just delete that, is we'll right-click in our content browser, blueprint class, actor, give it a name, so um, toggle light, and we'll drag that into our scene. Now, open up our blueprint, the first thing I'll do is put an arrow in, and this just allows me to see that if we've got loads of these in the scene, where it is, and I'll give it a color, say so, um, light and blue. So um, as we can see here, we've got a little arrow, so we know where it is. I'm just gonna make that, so you don't have to do this. I, I just do this for my own benefit, really. So there we go, so I know now that that is a light. You could have green ones that could be a door or something like that. So now what we need to do is we need to um, go to our add component, and what you want to do is make sure you've selected the scene root, um, add to opponent, type in box, and then select box collision. So this is what our player is going to collide with to open the door. Now, we'll probably set this to, say, about 100 by, say, 100, and that should be, yep, that's more than enough for us. So what I'll do is also make this a little bit wider as well, um, so they've got a little bit more area to walk in. So then again, select the scene root, drop down, uh, on add component and type in point and that's our point light so now what I'm going to do with this is I'm just going to set this to some crazy um, high intensity and we'll change that to red just so that we know the light has, is gone on and off so um, what we need to do is there's, there's nothing currently there is that we just need to select our point light and um, just drag that up so it's above the, uh, uh, the floor so there we go so we've got our light there so now what we're going to do is uh, Go to our event graph and get rid of these and select our box and scroll down over the right hand side to event begin overlap. So what this means is that when the player overlaps with this, do something. And then what we'll do is we'll click on the box again and we'll go event, uh, event begin uh, end overlap. Sorry. And, um, and then what this does is when the players come outside of the box, it does something. So then what we'll do is we'll drag our point light in. And off of the point light, we'll do uh, visibility, and we want to set visibility. So plug that in, and we want to tick this. So this means, when it's ticked, it means the light is on. So obviously, when the person's overlap this box, we're turning the light on. So then what we do is we'll just copy the set visibility, and we'll plug that in, and we'll plug the point light into target, and we'll untick that. Now what this will do is this will, in theory, when our player walks over, what we'll, first of all, what we'll do is, is go to point light, and over the right hand side say visible to disable that. So what this will do is initially this, when our player walks over it, um, it'll turn the light on. When it's walked outside the box, it'll turn the light off. Now, as you can see there, that's worked. But what we can do is obviously, um, that's not practical because you can't really see where it is. What we'll do, do for um, ease sake um, is drop down, add component, um, box, cube, sorry and we'll select cube and what we'll do is we'll just create some edges here so it's just so we know that between these um between these cubes is where our toggle is so that we're when we're looking you'll see what i mean in a minute so now we've got somewhere a point of reference for where our light is um so there we go so as you can see here we're walking through Obviously, you can do all sorts of things like this. You could have it so that you could trigger a timeline that then makes the lights look like they're um, flickering on and off, you know, like horror-type games, or you could trigger a particle effect or anything. But this just gives you a very quick rundown of how to use um, toggle a light on and off using a collision uh, box inside of Unreal.